on behalf of our college i cordially and respectfully welcome our chief guest of today honorable vice chancellor sir professor yogesh singh who is a renowned academ academician par excellence a decisive leader and the courage to dream big and bring changes in the society professor balram pani dean uh, of colleges university of delhi professor radhishyam radhishyam ji chairman governing body of the college mr rajiv who is the founder and director of uh, navtatva educare private limited professor avnish mittal the principal of the college respected principals of other uh, colleges of university of delhi faculty members invited guests and my dear friends good morning to all of you so this experience was wonderful experience i uh, i could not have would not have visualized this but you know uh, the company is doing very well and uh, 3d movies are coming uh, with the similar type of concepts and this uh, virtual reality will become reality very soon and will help uh, most of the higher education institutions of our country yesterday i discussed with pani ji you are inviting me in the, in your college uh, what is the program he said uh, it's a very simple program you don't have to speak anything don't worry <laughs> uh, uh, and and he shared that i thought okay but uh, on the back of my mind i knew that normally it doesn't happen <laughs> normally it doesn't happen uh, when you invite someone you expect the the person to uh, to talk for few minutes but i am really extremely happy to know that this is the youngest college of university of delhi <laughs> delhi university delhi university has completed 100 years and in the 100 years we have seen uh, so many colleges now number is more than 91 colleges we are also planning to establish two new, new colleges very soon Uh, so this is the youngest college established in September 1995. So we hope that in 24, 2024, another college may be added in the uh, umbrella of University of Delhi. Let us see what happens. And but the youngest college doing very well, like uh, A plus plus grade by NAC. Congratulations to all of you. This, this is the result of the commitment, dedication, and hard work of the teachers and students of. Uh, the institution or uh, and the, also the credit goes to the leadership of the institution similarly nirf ranked 22nd and dbt also granted this institution as a star college status so from every parameter uh, parameter the indications are that institution is doing very well thanks to the governing body also and chairman and other now number is 1300 students 91 teaching and 1110 as i am told young uh, 1110 non teaching staff in the college so 1300 you are providing quality education you have established your reputation now think about the expansion also the the, the point is 1300 students this number uh, is not enough for an institution in delhi because of a country of 140 crore people expectations are very high from higher education institutions if we can plan something if from delhi university side if we can support we would definitely like to support the endeavor of any endeavor of uh, the expansion of the college and this beginning night like, like this mou signing with the virtual and augmented reality it's a very very different experience and i'm quite hopeful that uh, navtatva educare private limited will help the institution to take few steps in that direction because in the 21st century we all know world is changing very fast with the development of such new technologies and uh, when we talk about and here this we are signing this mou for e content development which is extremely extremely important e content development using technology through technologies like ar vr this is a very very inspiring challenge and you know my uh, young teachers and young minds young students should take this challenge to uh, to develop uh, the inspiring engaging entertaining e contents normally what happened if you all remember somewhere in 1990s the late 90s 94 95 iit kanpur and iit kharagpur took uh, this step to have uh, the e contents 
but what they did initially because those days were very very different they only recorded the classroom uh, videos of the teachers they sold those videos because of iit professors many institutions uh, purchased those videos also but you know they were, they were not effective because having teacher in the class having teacher in the class or you know uh, going through a video of an hour or so attention span this is the key word is attention span and it is just not possible to keep the attention of students for 60 minutes without a teacher it is just not possible that's why you know the, uh, uh, there was hardly any success in the in that project but then now time has changed after 20 25 years new technology new instruments uh, have come in the market they are helping us but you know for example uh, many students meet me they say sir classrooms are very boring uh, we don't enjoy classroom teaching this is a real challenge of higher education how to make energized classrooms effective classroom if impactful classrooms how can we do it we can take help of the technology yes but you know uh, 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 with reference to teaching pedagogies now time has come to do research in that area also for example you know uh, one concept which is becoming popular in the western world is the flipped classroom concept it means our teacher is expected to prepare a 10 minutes video because worldwide uh, psychologists feel that 10 minutes is the optimum time to keep attention of anyone so prepare a 10 minutes video which you want to cover in the class then uh, cover in the class and give it to the students 3 days prior to the class then they are expected to go through the video once twice twice till they uh, till they understand the concepts if they are not able to understand it's fine but at least they have the information so when they are coming to the class they have that, that information and impression about what will happen in the class then a teacher can take a, uh, a multiple choice quiz or some an, another another thing to know whether they have done it or not done it point is not assessment point is point is not evaluation but to keep their interest in the subject after that start debate discussions relate those concepts with examples relate those concepts with experiments and then this in, uh, this uh, visualization and uh, that will help us and uh, that will be more engaging for the students so that's why attention span is a very very uh, 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 very very important and key for the success and we have to understand from advertising industry see in our higher education institutions and in my uh, and the teachers they say 10 minutes video how can we do it sir not possible because we have to deliver 60 minutes lecture or 50 minutes lecture how can we reduce it to 10 minutes not possible but learn lessons from the advertising industry where time is very critical 30 minutes video 30 minutes advertisement 60 minutes advertisement 90 minutes advertisement 2 minutes advertisement as the this time increases cost increases but here because there is no concepts of cost here that's why we are not serious about it we have to learn the ways to reduce it how can we deliver effectively in 10 minutes is a challenge their technology will help us we all know a picture is worth of a thousand words we can use videos we can use pictures we can use such technologies AR, VR technology but it should be a very very impactful video you may say that we, don't, we are not trained for that, how can we do it? Yes, we need graphics designers, we need animators to help. But help for one year, two year, three years. Such companies can help us. But we have to change our mindset to train ourselves for that. And I would like to request, there are a good number of principals here and, and, and this college also. Please, please arrange, organize workshops for the preparation of such videos. Train our teachers. Initially, they will not be able to, but slowly and steadily, they will be able to do, develop, design quality videos. Train them. This is this is a thing which should be given priority now. Time has come, and companies can help us, like uh, this uh, this company, uh, because they are working on next level AR VR. Then we start training from the animating tools like Maya, 3D Max Studio or something and then the next level, then the next level. So training of teachers 
we should not feel that this is not our job why would we do it why should we do it no it's our we have you are the director of your class it is like making a film because time is changing and you know students expectations are also changing there's a word why people are worried about it so think about it so 10 minutes video engaging useful meaningful and informative video now see what has happened in the last 3 years or not even 3 years 2 years youtube shorts duration is 16 seconds now softwares are available if you give speech now they cut the the impactful portion of that and it becomes a short then they see the response depending upon the response and using ai techniques you will get similar type of shots in youtube same is instagram reels 90 seconds duration facebook reels 15 second duration so worldwide now duration is in seconds not even 10 minutes but we educators are not exposed to those areas so time has come that's why i am very happy today uh, with this uh, signing of mou at least we are thinking in that direction so uh, uh, principals uh, please do something in that direction because our young generation is doing very well their expectations are now very very different me to bolte purana ho gaya teacher teacher purana nahi hua wo technology se pes nahi rakh paya that's why you know and mobile video consumption rate in india mobile video consumption rate in india rises by 100% every year how can we ignore this change which is happening in our country and we are not spectator we are the players we have capability and capacity to assume leadership in some of the areas so fresh in depth content and you know you may be surprised to know india's per capita sorry india's per capita data consumption is 19.5 gb per month 19.5 gb per month and total data volume transported by mobile networks in india total data uh, transfer transportation is more than mobile networks of us and china combined aankhon ke samne ho gaya ye us and china combined see the power of this and our presence on facebook maximum in the world our presence of uh, on youtube maximum in the world highest in the world and uh, on instagram also number 1 in the world aap keh sakte ho hai zyada to zyada to aayenge hi that is also true ki hum hai zyada but still you know and when we say the china plus us combined it means something is happening somewhere uh, in our neighborhood if we ignore this we will not only uh, we will not only uh, ignore the opportunities uh, for us but also for our students and youngsters that's why uh, uh, again uh, this workshops are essential and you know india is doing very well why i am saying now india is, uh, uh, like before 2010 i used to say indians are doing very well india is not doing that well but now indians are doing well india is also doing well and see the two success stories it the, these two success stories have not happened anywhere in the world that is like our enabling policies we all know that we have we are net neutrality country it means what we don't give priority to anything we are net neutral although there were lots of pressures on the government to make such policies by the companies but government of india decided to have net neutrality policy and our digital infrastructure now see government of india one side is planning to provide tap water in every village do saal pehle unhone bijli har ghar mein pahunchayi hai abhi wo tap water pahunchane ki baat kar rahe hain simultaneously broadband connectivity on every village so tap water and this broadband connectivity both are coming simultaneously in indian villages i don't know what will happen numerous applications numerous opportunities will be created and the two success stories one is digital id india is the only country where everyone is having a digital id like aadhaar like aadhaar a very very 
powerful tool and this was not possible to implement in a country like India having 140 crore people abhi koi ye nahi kehta ki anpadhon ka desh hai ji yahan pe to kar nahi sakte ji log samajhte nahi no data consumption in urban india and data consumption in rural india both are same so language is also not barrier now this also change has happened in last uh, uh, last 10 years or 5 years maximum 5 10 years second success story is one is this uh, aadhar and second is the upi unified payment इंटरफेस आप में से कितने लोग हैं जो आजकल मोबाइल से पेमेंट करते हैं सारे ही हो गए सारे ही हो गए आई थिंक मैं सबसे लास्ट हूँ जिसने ज्वाइन किया मैंने छह महीने पहले ज्वाइन किया अदरवाइज आई वॉज प्रैक्टिकल अबाउट इट यू नो नो आई शुड नॉट डू इट देन माई डॉटर सजेस्टेड पापा डू इट नथिंग विल हैपन दैट कॉन्फिडेंस यंगस्टर्स वर हैविंग मोर कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन द टेक्नोलॉजी क्रिएटेड इन इंडिया देन ए पर्सन लाइक मी so this mindset uh, is required to be changed because our young generations have already changed adopted enacted such technologies and this upi uh, this unified payment interface which was a company promoted uh, this was designed developed by national payment corporation of india a company designed uh, company promoted by the rbi and indian banking association it's a success story <coughs> now government of india is planning to give this upi facility to other countries also see and now because of this payment this is basically a security layer uh, from our bank account to the uh, the front end facility like paytm google pay or, or whatever you want to use it we have seen so many success stories so now in this changing times where we have smartphones 1 billion plus mobile users smartphone users education system needs to adopt such changes in our classrooms also that's why workshops are essential please please this should be uh, and every college should give priority for organizing such workshop and i would like to request pani ji please provide funds also for organizing such we will provide from the university also funds for organizing this type of workshop this type of workshops in every college prepare please send us the proposals and we will fund because then this is essentially required today so in this transformative era with evolution of industry 4.0 web 3.0 genetics 2.0 india will be a performer india will be a leader and very very impactful player because in our earlier uh, the revolutions which happened industry 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 now 4.0 अप टू टू पॉइंट जीरो तो हम कह ही सकते थे हम गुलाम थे जी हमारे पास कुछ नहीं था वी कुड नॉट टेक पार्ट इन इंडस्ट्रियल रिवोल्यूशन वी कुड नॉट टेक पार्ट इन द कंप्यूटर रिवोल्यूशन बट नाउ वी कैन नॉट वी कॉन्ट से दिस दिस इज द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया एंड सो वेन वी सी द ए आई मशीन लर्निंग क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग रॉबर्टिस डेटा एनालिटिक्स क्रिप्टो टेक्नोलॉजीज वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड लीडरशिप टू द वर्ल्ड एंड दिस लीडरशिप विल कम फ्रॉम इंडियन एजुकेशन सिस्टम first we have to change we have to change our mindset and but you know when uh, i visited your laboratories also i am quite satisfied and impressed with the work, good work which you are doing in your laboratories but point is you know first of all our teachers and researchers should understand the difference between innovating and imitating innovating and imitating creating and copying most of our innovations are secondary improvements of existing technologies secondary improvements in the existing technology nothing wrong in it also i am not saying it is wrong but it is not sufficient for the country because if we satisfy ourselves because the teachers are satisfied after publishing a good research paper in a good journal with impact factor and then we are satisfied we are because we are trained like that in all our career advancement and everything if it's a good paper uh, we are respected we are trusted and it give us it give credential to our accomplishments and achievements nothing wrong in it but this is half pattern now my request to through the science college uh, request is now focus on the other part of journey also other part of journey is what what you have experimented and published 
if you want if if, if you if you want to go for patent please go for patent patent and publication wo ek jaisi bhai bhai nahi hai wo to he uh, you have the patent so that you have copyright basically nobody can copy it you should do it but after that we develop a prototype which i have seen in the poly, uh, uh, polymer science laboratory prototype to a product and then commercially sustainable product now uh, government of india and university grants commission uh, commission is also allowing teachers to create their own company this was not there in our education system but now we are opening our doors to the not only to the entrepreneurs but but in the process we are opening doors to the teachers also if you can collaborate if you can create your own thing please think about it and that's why you know we have to focus on new things and a country of 140 crore people cannot will not be able to create wealth wealth only with the help of replication or with the help of imported technology because if we only import technology develop it here produce something with the help of that technology level stage 1 is fine 2 is also fine but level 3 is what now we should create our own technologies also because if we do not add value in the chain then profit margins are very small profit margins but we we want to create wealth not only for individuals but also for the country so that's why this innovation originality and creativity these are not the words they are now the lifestyle for the academic institutions that's why innovation in higher education is essential in teaching pedagogy teaching learning processes quality research and development of the commercial the sustainable products if we are able to do so we will not only help us but also help our students we will be able to meet the expectations of our students if we will not do it others will do it aisa to hona nahi hum nahi karenge to dusre nahi karenge wo to hota hi nahi hai pani hai pani bahega to rasta to nikalega apna kahin na kahin se because time is right india is doing very well we have right kind of leadership in our country everyone is ready to accept any change in india right now this situation was not there with our forefathers we have to take advantage of this if we fail to do so others who will follow us others who will follow us will not forgive us for our for our complacency negligence and you know careless attitude thoda yaar jaane do jo chal raha hai chalne do this this we should have to come out of this and i am quite hopeful that uh, if in university of delhi we will take few steps in that direction we will not only do good to other us but also provide leadership to the other higher education institutions of our country this is what is expected from the teachers of university of delhi uh, i am very thankful to the principal and professor pani and the chairman for inviting me and sharing some of my thoughts thank you very much